So I still had a few trolls who I think misunderstood my video last week on lapping versus bluing the valves and so on. So what I wanna discuss first and foremost is this bluing technique is not at all how I'm checking the quality of my valve seat or the quality of my valve face. It is 100% simply a check to make sure that my tooling is set to the correct diameter to get the seat in the correct position dimensionally on the valve face. Once I have my tooling set and the dimensions are as I desire, I can finish machining all the seats. And at that point, we can move on to checking the quality of our machine work. First and foremost, we can give it a visual check for any visual chatter or pitting that would cause a valve not to seal. Next, we move on to a basic vacuum check on every valve. If the vacuum check doesn't hold, we can break out the valve seat runout gauge. This allows us to see precisely what our valve seat is machined like down to the one ten thousandth of an inch. The point is, there are plenty of ways to skin a cat, but we do not need to lap a valve to test a seat's quality.